everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly zoom and pan inside of Camtasia, both the Mac and the PC version. And this really helps you to emphasize and focus the learner's attention on certain parts of the screen. I do this all the time with my YouTube videos and my training where I want to really, you know, ignore the rest of the part of the UI and just focus on certain parts of the UI. And you don't always want to zoom in and keep it there the entire time. You may want to zoom out as well. So that's what we're going to be covering today. My name is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo, and let's go ahead and dive in. I have a screen recording here with Camtasia 2024. This works in Camtasia 2023 as well. It works a little bit differently in Mac compared to PC. So I'll first of all, talk about how to do this on a Mac, and then we'll talk about how to do this on PC. Here I am on a Mac. Now what I could do is actually just come into the animations here and I could add on a custom animation. Now with animations, you have a point A of where things are at and then you have a point B of where you want it to animate to. And all you do is go to point B and then you could scale up and move it there. That works, but then you have to add those points every single time. There's an easier way to do this. So I'm gonna just hit Control Z to a point where that animation is no longer there. This is where it's a little bit different on a Mac compared to PC. On a Mac, you have to go into edit and then you go down to zoom and pan. This zoom and pan window allows me to move my timeline down at the bottom here. You can see as I move here, it allows me to jump to the certain points that I want to zoom in. Now what happens, and it's a small window, I wish you could kind of make this a little bit larger, but now what happens is I can start to say, oh, at this point, I want to zoom in. And notice that zooming in on the background here and it's zooming in right here. I could also take this and I can move it to the point that I want to have it focused on. So let's zoom in a little bit more, just kind of move it over to here and then that's good. Now down at the bottom in the timeline, it adds that custom animation for me automatically. So that is great. I can then move my playhead here and let's say, oh, we need to move it over a little bit more. So I can just kind of move that over at this point maybe even zoom it out a little bit and kind of focus that in. And it creates another animation for me. So it's just a quicker, easier way for me to be able to create these animations just by using the timeline, hitting play if I need to, watching it, zooming in on different parts, and then zooming out. If I come into here, let's say I want to have it zoom all the way back out. I could do actual size, but we have a problem. It kind of places it actual size, but it places it off to the side. I could then move this so it does fit, but sometimes the actual size still is not the entire screen. Instead of actual size, I'm gonna just hit Control Z to go back. This is what I use most of the time. This is an animation that you could do to like do scale to fit, and you can drag that out at any point, or using this zoom and pan window, I could just hit scale to fit. And then it adds a custom animation down at my timeline that just scales it back to normal. This window allows me to zoom in, to move to different parts, to zoom out, and then to zoom out to the full screen just by using these quick buttons. So it's a quick and easy way to be able to do that. Let's do the same thing on a PC. So let's go ahead and switch over. So I have my recording, it's the same recording. Now what I need to do is actually come into my animations. On Windows animations, you have two different tabs. You have the zoom and pan, which is the same functionality that we learned about on a Mac, but it's just in a different spot. And then you have the actual animations. If you come into zoom and pan, what you can do, you can move your timeline just like normal, and then you could just go ahead and take this window and zoom down just by using this little resizing box here and then pan it across and you see the update right here. So it's actually not a separate window. You're still working with the main canvas, you're still working with the main timeline, but you're using this little window to be able to point to different spots. And it still creates that custom animation for us. And so I can drag that out if needed. If I need to move, all I have to do is just kind of move this window over a little bit, and then it creates another animation for me. If I want to scale to fit and zoom everything back out, I just have to hit that button and then all of a sudden it animates it back. You could do it through the custom way. You can do it on a Mac through the zoom and pan window or on Windows, you can do it here through the zoom and pan in the animation section. It takes a little bit getting used to, but it will save you a whole lot of time if you're watching recordings and you just wanna zoom in on different parts. 
instead of having to add the custom animation, go to point B, then go into the properties to zoom in, you basically just use this window to zoom, to pan, and to go in, to go back out as well. That's how you use the zoom and pan tool. If you don't know already, you can check out more of these tutorials by going to the official Camtasia certification. I created that training for the certification. It's out, it's live. You can check that out if you're a subscriber to Camtasia. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, as well as hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows my channel to continue to grow, allows me to continue to create these videos for you to be able to help you become the best learning developer that you can be. And if you're on my channel, go ahead and leave some comments down below. Let me know what other videos you want to see. You can also check out official Learning Dojo shirts and hoodies while you're on the YouTube channel as well. If you haven't checked out my website, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts covering anything learning development related. You can download free templates and Articulate Storyline and X API templates. You can also check out full courses covering everything from A to Z, Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, X API Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. That's all I have for today, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.